walk amongst untold billions. It's to live in the cruelest and most bloody regime imaginable. These are the tales of those times. Forget the power of technology and science, for so much has been forgotten, never to be relearned. Forget the promise of progress and understanding, for in the grim darkness, future. There is only war. There is no peace among the stars. Only an eternity of carnage and slaughter and the laughter of thirsty gods. Abyss breed, malformed hunters, the imperial city was in flames as the dark elder raiders came from the opening in reality, horrors of Komorath poured out like a flood of malice and twisted bodies. The faceless horrors of rocks and fast jetbikes that split up the scrambling imperial forces. The city world of Adian 5 was a futuristic world of metal hablocks and sharp spires, big Gargathuan statues that watched over the city. Dark and grim with hellish living conditions, but the abyss have found them. The fighting was hard, and the humans was fighting for their lives with teeth and claws. From the portal, a thin hemaculae emerged with a nightmarish grim. Targali, the twisted grim, flexes his surgeon equipment with blades and syringes. His rocks surrounded him with hellish hisses and screams from new victims was echoing in the skyscraper. He starved into the first human and let his surgeon hands into the flesh with a hiss of joy. Demonic fluids mutated the appearance of the humans into a zombie-like creature as the power of fear was drained. The regalia listened and felt his power grow as he sucked it out of him. The rocks and grotesque move around him in joy with new victims on display. The city is honoring us with new flesh and fear. Get me more flesh, <laughs> he giggled and walked forward to enjoy the battle scene. The dark Eldar hovercraft swooped down and hunted the fleeing humans. The carnage was glorious and the wretched figures enjoyed it greatly. This city will fall and he enjoyed the thought of no new livestock 
for his carnal lust. But the Imperium was a great foe, and he heard in his com how the Imperium was fighting back. In space, huge spaceships, and also the garrison of the world. The pirate fleet was facing huge cannon of brute force and this surface attack needed the support of swift ships. He was losing men and material but still he had the upper hand in this battle. He grinned as the explosion rocked the building and he heard dark sound of tank tracks. Fighters swooped down and fighted the armored with beams of dark light. His racks formed a protecting wall and the rest of them swarmed down from the skyscraper with an human hiss and gurgling of strange tubes. They will break! The pesky humans! He hissed and watched the raging battle. Air filled with the smell of fire, flesh and fear. Find a commander and government. We need to break them. And use the pain engines on the flanks. Use the mandrakes to get behind them. He said and licked his sharp teeth. The Imperial God is gathering Hamakulai. Avrak said and bowed his head. Targali was grinning and his mode was darkening. To the warp with the Imperium of Man, he thinked, as his forces battle against them. Send in the bombers and let them face my wrath. He has spotted heavy Imperial forces in the city center, Hamakulai. The Rack said with a gurgling and watched his twisted lord. The galley gave me a grim glance and his eyes were stone cold. Split them up and consume them! The Hemakulai's voice was steady and don't reveal his rage. He had the information of a medium arm planet, but he had missed something. His mind sorted through hundreds of scans, and within seconds he find a blank. Why was the church ground blank? To hell with his scouts. He was not prepared to fighting heavier troops. This was his trap. His slave raid, not a full-scale war. More explosions making the building sway with the power of heavy cannons. But something felt so wrong in this war-thorn reality. It felt like pure war. With a terrors beyond his nightmare world. Then a flash and a monstrous roar. From the eternal vortex a bat-like terror in midnight clad filled him with dread. But it was more of the malformed hunters that filled the burned air that cooked with warping energies the hulking winged creatures 
cut his bodyguard into ribbons with demonic claws and they pulsating with primal horror. You warped bat! He hissed, but did not get any courage from that. His muscles fighting him with abyssal dread. The abyss breed did not stop, as it with human speed charged him. And he knew he was faster. Targali tried to parry, but his arm did not follow him. The warp talon champion Grameth, the abyssal holler, ripped the dark elder Hemakulai into pieces with a razor blade smile. Warp talons was the vanguard of a night lord's warband. The maleficent Arachnophobia legion traveled to the warp and tearing into reality with demonic claws. Perfect for precision strikes. The smell of dark elder was easy to find in the warp as denizens of Komorath. The stinking Eldari was weak in flesh, but still good prey to hunt. Tearing the rest of the commander's bodyguards to shred with a hunger for eternal carnage. The room was an abattoir of twisted flesh and razor sharp technology of the malformed Eldari. The nearest Talon came to him with a swift jump for a Chaos Space Marine. Drache, what report? He shrieked. The Dark Eldar are splitting up. But the portal is closed, and they cannot retreat. But the corpse god followers are fighting still, brother. Let the corpse god followers fight Eldar. Let them win, so he can lure into a trap. Grameth growled like a beast. Remember the plan. Yes, brother. Drasher answered with a demonic grim and stretched his wings. The twisted animal like marines moved like a warp wind to disappear into the shadows of the city. The shadows was lit up by explosions and tracers. But the abyss consumed the talents. <laughs>